is Jennifer and welcome back to my channel. So today I have a haul video for you which I know I don't do very often because I tend to buy like one or two things here and there whenever I need it or when there's a really big sale but recently there has been some really good sales because of the holidays and Black Friday so I thought I would like pull everything together and kind of just show you what I've purchased over the last several weeks. I think I'm gonna start with like the beauty stuff and then move on to the fashion stuff because I did pick up a couple of clothing items. So I'll just timestamp it right here uh, if you want to skip ahead to the fashion stuff. But yeah, let's just get started with the beauty stuff. So the first retail I bought from is Ulta Beauty, which of course is like my favorite beauty place. I bought the Herborian Pink Primer and Care and also their BB Cream. I have been wanting to try Herborian forever but like the price was just a little bit off-putting and then for like the BB cream I never knew if I was like the lightest shade or like the medium shade because there's not a whole lot of shades out there but I think I had like a 20% off coupon or they were on sale or something so I bought them they come in these little tubes and let's just swatch them on my hand real quick so this is the primer and care it is pink in color just gonna go ahead and rub this in. It does feel very creamy and moisturizing. I don't actually like to use primers that often, but I figured I would give this one a try, especially because this winter my skin has been so dry. It also smells kind of like baby lotion. So let's go ahead and put a doll. Oh, that was a bit. Uh, a little bit of. So I ended up getting the shade Claire, which I believe is the lightest shade. And just by looking at it, uh, I think it was the right choice, especially for winter. Um, and it just like rubs in. Ooh, this actually feels really good. It feels really moisturizing. It does feel like a BB cream instead of like a foundation. And I just put that right over the primer. So I think it is a little bit lighter and pinker than my actual skin tone right now. But my skin is going to lighten up here as the months go by in winter. So I won't really know until I like try it on my face. Next, I got a couple of things from Glossier. I have actually only used their Boy Brow so far and I really love it. I just have not been able to try any of their other products yet. Their Black Friday deals were pretty good, so I bought three cloud paints and this like liquid highlighter. The three cloud paints I got were Dawn, Haze, and Storm. I'm gonna go ahead and swatch this real quick for you. They do want to like come out of the tube really fast. So this first one here is Dawn, which is like this coral color. I have been so obsessed with like oranges like this. Absolutely beautiful. This next one I believe is Haze and it's like this fuchsia color. And obviously I have put on like way more than necessary. I just wanted you to be able to see how that looked. And then this is Storm. I did not put as much of this one on, but that one's supposed to be like your very natural looking flush. So yeah, I am very excited for these colors and I like how pigmented they are. A little bit goes a long way and they are not super thick. So you can like really make sure that you are like thinning it out over your cheek and you can like build it up. Cause like, look at these colors, so excited. The liquid highlighter looks like this and I got it in the shade Pale Pearl. It's supposed to be a highlighter concentrate. So I'm guessing a little bit goes a long way here too. So it does have a little, not quite a doe foot, but kind of that similar um, texture. I just plopped a little bit on the back of my hand. So you can see how shiny that is and it just blends out quite beautifully and it gives you like this sheen without being like chunky glitter. So I really love that. Next, I picked up a couple of things from Shop Miss A. The first is I got a bunch of lashes. So I have been buying Shop Miss A lashes since like, since they came out with them, literally. Um, since then they have asked me to be an ambassador but i just still like haul with my own money all the time their lashes like this are only like a dollar and i bought a bunch of different lashes that i thought would look really cute if i like put them on my lower lash line i have been really into editorial looks lately and my eye my bottom lashes are just so baby and it's weird to say that that makes me insecure but i just feel like bottom lashes does help pull a look together so I'm just gonna put fake ones on. I also bought a couple of brush soaps from them. I really like their brush soap because it's only a dollar and I don't know if you'll be able to tell 
This is a white one, so it's probably hard. Uh, this one's mango, and the other one I got was peach, I think. Yeah. But anyway, the reason why I love them is because they're actually textured soaps. If you can tell, it kind of looks like a bunch of sprinkles that are like compacted together. And because of that rough surface, it's really easy for me to just like run brushes over it. And it's like a soap and a scrub all in one. They smell really good. They don't leave any weird residue on my brushes. The metal tin is super convenient. And like I said, okay, they're $1.55, not a dollar, but still very worth it. Next, I bought four lipsticks from Prop of Beauty. And this is a black owned brand. They specialize in lipsticks and they specialize in lipsticks for every shade of nude. These are the four colors that I bought. This is what their packaging looks like. It kind of reminds me of like the match sticks from Fenty Beauty. And they, please focus camera, here we go, are just bullet lipsticks and they are like a satin formula. So swatching it for you now, this one is Finesse. This one is Limitless, absolutely beautiful brick color. This one is Believe It. It's like a beautiful chocolatey orange. And this last one is Driven, which is like more of like a mahogany, more red than orange. So as you can see, there is a huge range here and this isn't even, I don't think the lightest or the darkest in the range. This one seems like it'll be my lips for butter, which is amazing. And then these are perfect autumn and winter colors. Also have to mention they are super affordable. Like these are under $10 and they already feel so comfortable on my hand. Like I just know it will glide on so beautifully. Next, I bought some nail stuff from Kiara Sky. First of all, if you have not seen my video on jelly tips, which are like nail tip extensions at home, so easy, go watch that video. I have uploaded both like me putting on the nails and then me taking them off slash like an update. The tips that I bought with the kit were uh, coffin shapes, so I picked up the almond shapes because I just love it so much. Anyway, I also picked up uh, four nail polishes from them. So with the jelly tips, you can just like paint over them with regular with regular nail polish. And so I had like purchased a color and that was the first time I tried the Kiara Sky formula for their nail polish. And I absolutely fell in love with the nail polish formula. It was like so opaque, even though I was putting on like a nude pink. It dried fast, it didn't want to chip. It just like went on very opaque. It wasn't like, goopy or anything. So I just went and bought like four more colors. So these are basically just some nudes. I mean, can you tell I have a type? This Tahitian princess one is what I'm actually wearing right now on my fingernails. So you can see my fingernail obviously through the glitter because I didn't pack it on super like thick or anything. But yeah, they were on sale so I bought them. Oh, along with that, the jelly tips are UV cured and the uh, starter kit came with like a little lamp which was great for like individual fingers but then it got really tedious trying to do like my whole hand when I was doing my top coat so I bought one of these like salon like UV lamp things that I can like put my whole hand in from Amazon it had good reviews so I'm hopeful something else I picked up from Amazon were these nail brushes so uh, I actually bought this solely for this one that's like a super long brush I've seen a lot of people use that brush with their water water activated liners that they use on their face and it looks so easy when they do it so i'm gonna try it next i bought a bunch of these i think they're called highlights from insert name here and they are basically it's supposed to be like two like clip in pieces of color hair that you can just like clip in and it just like adds a little bit of something they were super affordable, like I want to say like $10 each over Black Friday or something. So I bought six colors. This one is in the shade Brond, which I think is supposed to be like a blend of blonde and brown. These are actually quite long. I believe they're like 20 inches, which is perfect for me because I have quite long hair. So I think they're just supposed to clip in. I'm just going to do this like really haphazardly because I just want to show you the one color and then I want to move on. So I just clipped it in nice and easy like this. Oh, I actually like this. It is actually not quite long enough for my hair, but it's so close. Um, okay. I think what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna make a separate video for like all of the colors that I bought so I can like show you guys, but peekaboo. 
by the way, yes, there are two of them, so I like could put them both in, but I'm lazy. Let's move on. Okay, we're reaching the end of our beauty haul. This is like the last two things and I'm moving on to fashion, but I bought two things from Yes Style, which is basically where I get all of my K-beauty stuff. I have a code with them, by the way. I will list it here. But I bought this Thank You Farmer Sun Cream. It was on sale, it's SPF 50. I have had one other sun cream from the brand Ipkin, also K-beauty, and I absolutely love it. So when I saw this one, I was like, yay, totally gonna try another one. Sun creams, I feel like, at least from the one that I tried, are so moisturizing. It truly feels like a cream moisturizer and it doesn't feel like an SPF at all. Uh, so I was like, yes, let me try another one. I believe this one's quite pricey, regular price. So if I do love it, I hope it's on sale often. But this other one is this aloe toner from the brand Secret Key. And the back says that it is a 97% aloe water toner. This is my second bottle. Uh, it's very affordable and this particular one is just so soothing. I mean, obviously because it's 97% aloe, but if you have like sensitive skin or like your skin is usually irritated, uh, it does have fragrance though. So if you're sensitive to fragrance, stay away from it. Otherwise, it is just really nice, soothing, kind of your like basic toner. Um, if you are trying to use a bunch of actives and you want just something like basic and soothing for your toner. Oh wait, okay, so before I move on to fashion, one really random thing that I picked up from Shein is this like acrylic uh, storage thing. So each level like slides open. And I thought it would be really great to store um, things like scrunchies, you know, you can just toss them in there. Like lip glosses, you can store on a different level, right? These little cloud paints that I just bought. I can stick them in here and I can even just like store them like this where everything is open and then you can just like close them all back up. Uh, super cute, super affordable, super convenient. Anyway, let's actually move on to like fashion stuff now. Okay, I'm gonna be trying everything on kind of over this tank, which I did not buy this cycle, but um, I wanted to show you because it is such a good like layering tank. The straps are not adjustable, it is from Amazon, it's super affordable, but it's like double layered. I don't know if you can tell because of the camera, but it's like double layered and so like it's not see-through or anything and I have it in like nude and white as well and I absolutely love these. Okay, so from YesStyle I picked up this little corduroy like jacket, shirt, jacket thing which I know is like really popular right now. The sleeves just roll up super easily like this and they have snap buttons on them so you can just like clip it or I probably won't do that. I probably will just wear it open like this. I wanted it to be like a very lightweight long sleeve that I could just like throw on over anything. Um, as you can see it is quite long so it covers my butt for sure but I really like this like neutral almondy color. So I moved a little bit closer so you could probably try to see a little bit better the corduroy texture but it's not like noisy when I move like you know how corduroy can be very noisy um this is yeah just very cute so the other item that I got from yes style were these uh really wide leg kind of like linen-y denim, denim pants they are wide leg I just rolled them up because they're a little long and I think that's the style but as you can see it is quite loose it is wide leg and what I really like about these is that there's like little buttons here that you can like tighten uh, on both sides just in case like you know your hip to waist ratio um, is a little bit different and you want it to fit and then you just button it and zip it. This is something new that I learned with Korean clothing but I guess none of the buttonholes exist yet. You have to go and cut them yourself and that's just to show you that like the clothes are actually brand new and that nobody has worn them yet so I'm gonna do that later but this actually fits great and I'm shocked that it's not see-through because this was like super affordable and I was expecting it to be a little bit see-through. I can't wait to pair this with like boots or something. Next, I did splurge just a little bit on this Burberry belt that was on sale for about 50% off. I haven't cut the tag off yet, but this is what the belt looks like on. I really love this. I um, have always wanted like a Gucci belt, but I feel like everybody else has one. And there are just so many like counterfeits out there that I was like, I'm gonna do something different. So when I found this one on sale, I was like, yes. It like looks so good when it's like with jeans. 
For size reference, I am a 25 in denim and this is a size small. So in case you're wondering what size you should get, if you're close to me, then I would definitely recommend a small. I am like the third hole in and the fifth hole. So third hole from here and fifth hole from here. So the last thing I got is this like pink pastel crop jacket from Free People. So it's supposed to be, you know, super cropped. It actually goes like really well with this outfit, weird. Uh, but yeah, it's like very baggy, so I could wear something under it if I wanted to. And it just looks very like relaxed. It's also snap buttons, which I like. I just think they're so much more convenient than like actual buttons. I absolutely love this color. It's kind of different than like any other denim jacket I own. It was also like on clearance and then clearance was another 40% off. So I love it. Okay, so I know I said that was the last thing, but this is like actually the last thing. I bought this coat from Old Navy and I had to order two sizes because I didn't know what size I was because it said it was like an oversized relaxed fit. So I ended up keeping the extra small petite. It's got like a funnel neck and it's pretty long with pockets. So it does cover my butt. Sorry, it's like not in frame. My room just is not big enough for me to back up the camera further. Um, but yeah, I really like this. It was really affordable. I think it was like $35 and it feels like super soft, almost like felt like, but more structured and more luxurious. I love Old Navy for their coats. I think their coats are stylish and they go on sale often. So if you're looking for like a nice structured, like styled coat and you don't want to pay a ton, I would highly recommend Old Navy. So yeah, that is it for my haul. I feel like this got a little bit long-winded. Sorry about that. I was just really excited to show you everything. I did my best to link everything down below if you did want to pick something up. A lot of the things that I got were on clearance, so hopefully I can find them. Like I said, I don't do haul videos that often, so I'm sorry if this was like kind of hectic. Maybe I'll try to do more in the future so that they're not. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I hope to see you next time. Bye!